a photo of a smiling woman posing next to the carcass of a dead great white shark that washed up on a California beach over the weekend has sparked widespread condemnation on social media. But according to the person who took the photo, there is much more to the shark selfie than meets the eye. Giancarlo Thami, a marine biologist from Aptos, California, tells the Sacramento Bee that he asked his colleague to lay down next to the massive Dead Sea creature on Sunday merely to show its scale. The shark, a juvenile male measuring 8 feet, 9 inches in length and tipping the scales at 500 pounds, washed up on the beach at Seascape Beach Resort near Aptos at around 7 a.m. on Sunday. Thami and a colleague were called to the scene to investigate the grisly find. Thami says that with the morning tide rushing in, he was concerned that the carcass would be washed out to sea before they got a chance to take all the measurements and examine the creature, so he asked the other scientist to get down in the sand and provide scale. The image shows the bespectacled woman smiling and laying on her stomach next to the bloodied sea beast. When the local TV station KSBW later shared Fami's snapshot on its Facebook page, many users expressed dismay at the selfie. This could not be more messed up, one critic fumed. A dead shark is not a photo op. Another user lashed out, saying, this was once a living being, and it's just okay to lay next to it smiling. Share this article share a third commenter slammed the photo as creepy and disrespectful. Fami, the photographer, emphasized that the photo was not taken to poke fun at the dead shark, but rather for purely scientific purposes. After registering the creature's size, Thami and his colleagues were able to move the hulking 500-pound shark away from the water, then loaded it onto a truck and transported it to Long Marine Lab, where a necropsy will be performed next week to determine the cause of death. The deceased Great White was covered in old scars and fresh puncture wounds from its encounters with sea lions, but Thami does not believe those superficial injuries caused the animal's death. He suspects that the five-year-old male shark possibly died from an infection in its brain 